all right guys so welcome to this video uh it's a, it was a sunday when this video was recorded so perfect for arms giving day if you get my drift we started with a normal warm-up just the bar i like to use an easy bar but uh price of course switch is to the next week this was 10 kg and then like, i think i was giving the last commentary but the background music was too heavy so it didn't come out good so i have to do some voice over here so next week 10 kg I'm sure I was talking about the way you should position your wrist. You want your wrist to be firm. Oh, that was throwing when you're bringing the weight down. You don't want to, to, your wrist to have to bend, you know, so that you're not putting uh, the pressure of the weight on your wrist. Uh, that would, over the years or months, cost you some serious wrist pain. And that's something to watch out for. Uh, it's a normal body exercise. You want to go moderately heavy. Uh, but one thing is you don't want to sway your shoulder so much. Uh, so one cure I can give you is to engage your core. That will help. Uh, but what will help you even more is to engage your glutes. And a lot of people don't know this. You squeeze your glutes, it will just keep you upright. Uh, so also slow down the weights. I bring the weights down slowly. So next week we went to 15 kg. Uh, so you can just see like the progressions we're doing 10. And 15. I think I spread this up on the edit. Okay, guys. So next up, we went for 20 kg, and I like to draw your attention to the placement of my arms. I have them by the side of my body, as against having them behind me. Now, a lot of the people would have their arms behind them, and this will cause you some serious elbow pain. So this is something I'd like you guys to take note while you're doing your bicep pulse. Okay guys, so next up we'll have 25 pages for the PR for the day on the bicep course. Uh, I like to still look at the placement of my arms, even though it's quite heavy, the weight, I still have my, my arms by my side because I know that, especially at this weight, I don't want to have my arms behind my, back, behind my body because this will definitely cost me a good thing. Next up is cable skull crushers. This is one of the more impactful tricep exercises out there. It's great due to the fact that during the eccentric phase, that's the lowering phase, there is a lot of tension kept in your triceps while your arms are fully stretched. Uh, this is fantastic for hypertrophy, uh, not just the concentric, not just when you are contracting the weight, also while you are lowering the weight. It's important that there should be some level of tension there. Also, it's a great exercise because to put less pressure on your elbows. So you find that doing regular skull crushers with, let's say, uh, an easy bar, it's causing you elbow, uh, aching elbows, guys, this may be an alternative that you want to try out. Now, as you can see, I'm not sitting all the way down on the bench. Although I have it inclined and my back is on the bench, I'm of standing up and this allows me to have a deeper stretch uh, and honestly i'm more comfortable this way also you want to tuck in your elbows slightly to reduce undue stress on your elbow joints so you want to have them tucked in just slightly you don't want your elbows to flare out as this could take away the focus of the exercise from your triceps to somewhere like let's say your shoulder uh so like i said tuck it in slightly not so much for some people when you tuck it in so much it even causes elbow pain so guys enjoy the uh this exercise you do like four sets of it i will speed it up just to make sure the video is as short and concise as it can be so enjoy. <laughs> Guys, I'd like to point out the fact that on this arms day, we're training our triceps much more than we're training our biceps. And this is because the triceps make up 66% of your arms, therefore, if you train it as such. The exercise being performed here is called the tricep push downs. I'm using a V bar, that's the handle. Uh, this allows you to evenly distribute weight on the triceps. Also, the V-bar would allow you to go heavier in weight as against when you're using something like, let's say, a, using the ropes. Uh, also, 
this exercise allows you to push the same weight without putting pressure on your elbow. So for me, this is a fantastic, fantastic exercise to have in your Asana one performing triceps. So on this, you also want to, they're looking at four to five sets. I would say, you know, eight to 12 reps should be fine, but you should also be pushing to failure. So that should tell you that the weight should be, should be decent here. Next is the dumbbell hammer pulse. This exercise will help target your brachialis muscle. That's the muscle that's just beside your biceps. So if you ever looked at a physique and you're like, why is this side of this guy's arm so full? Yeah, obviously your triceps contributing, but that could be the brachialis muscle that you're also, also looking at. So for this exercise, a tip I'll have is hold the middle of the dumbbell. That will make it more challenging. If you want to go heavier and weighted, then obviously you should hook your wrist at the top of the dumbbell. Uh, ensure you have good form. The dumbbell hammer curl will allow you to go quite heavy in weight, but don't go so excessive that you're swinging all about. That will just hurt your elbows. If you discover that when you do this exercise, you have aching elbows, I would say that you should switch to using like a rope uh, or cable attachment. This will, this will put less pressure on, on those elbows so guys enjoy this up is the single arm cable extension this works on our triceps uh this is an isolation movement so we're not trying to go heavy not to go moderate, I would advise you go very light on this exercise. A, a, a tip I'll have for you is keep your elbows close to your body, or you can say same thing as keep your upper arm fixed. Uh, I personally like to cross my arms to the side of my body and squeeze at the bottom. And then also I would like to, uh, you know, release the weight slowly. So that's all for, uh, maximizing tension during the during the centric i'm sure you can me sing that over the course of my videos now so guys do this exercise towards the end of your workout or somewhere in the later middle stage of your workout so guys enjoy this and continue the commentary on the next video no break madam let's do no break please uh, Good bridge. Bridge. Yes. Alright guys, so next up we have dips. Very uh backful exercise. So guys, this is a bodyweight exercise. If it gets too easy, if you can do 15 to 20 reps, consider uh you know making it weighted with the belt. So chest out. Now also when it comes to the placement of your hands. Guys, I want you to look at this. If your hands are, if your hands are wide, then you're focusing on your chest. Also, if you're leaning forward, you're also focusing on your lower chest. But because I want the emphasis to be more on my triceps, of course, I'll get a bit of both. But because I want to increase the emphasis on triceps, I would make the uh, handle closer. And then I'll try and be as upright as I can be. I don't want to go too low because you don't want to hurt your shoulders. So guys, let's go. First up, like I said, we're going upright. Like it's work, it's money. All right, guys. So maybe waited to increase the intensity of the exercise. So same thing, chest up. We want to keep our elbows tucked in as much as possible. We don't really want to flare out like this. And then slow and controlled. Don't go too low because of your shoulders. Guys, we'll use this to finish off our exercise. So, I'm 
another single arm cable access for the biceps Focus on the concentric and focus on the eccentric. So see, concentric, maximum tension. Now the advantage of a cable is that when you are lowering, lowering the weight, that's the eccentric, there is also a lot of stretch there, which will relate to a lot of gains. So guys, don't just drop the weight, release slowly. Get all the benefits, get all the sugar from the exercise. 